there. Welcome. From America, we're at Valley Fair, the where they have Renegade, the GCI wooden roller coaster, which I've been wanting to do since 2007. I believe there's eight roller coasters in all here, including a hyper coaster. There's also another Woody. There's one of the Intamin inverted launch coasters. I can't think of the correct term, like Wiki Twister at Cedar Point, which is now gone. Just overall, really, really, really looking forward to getting in this park for the first time, trying out the coasters and just seeing how it goes. This is the first vlog from the trip. This is the first time I'm using this lens on my camera for a vlog as well, so hopefully the framing will be okay and hopefully it'll not be too shaky because this uh, this lens is quite heavy on this camera to, to vlog with, but hopefully it'll be all right. Anyway, enough from me. It's time to introduce who I'm with today. Hello there, Mark. Hello, how are we doing? Not bad, how are you doing? Oh, well, good. Finally get to, to ride Renegade. I'm I'm excited. Why is it you're looking forward to Renegade? It's just one of them coasters that you use you know, you, you see, um, everyone says it's a great ride, and the more you watch the POVs, you're thinking, yeah, it's something that I need to get on. So, been on the bucket list for a while, so I'm, quite, I'm very, very happy to be here. Very, very happy. We've also got Jimmy with us, who's over there. We've got Andy and Tara with us. We've also got Mike and Gareth, and uh, there's lots of people helping yeah. out here. Christina, Christina, Jamie. Yeah. I mean, we're not sure how often everyone will be in the vlog, but there is a big group and if we did miss anyone there, I'm sorry. We apologise. Yeah, because we were up for like 30 hours of travelling yesterday. Yeah, a good kit was needed, but I'm sure these coasts will be a, 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 a wake us up and I am very, very excited to get back on an Intamin Impulse. That's it, Intamin Impulse. There was me not remembering what they're called. Yeah. So it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's already 30 degrees. Yes. Log flumes, are you going to go on one? Creds to get first. Creds to get first. And also we've got um, fast lane, haven't we? We've got fast lane, so we should get plenty of rides and everything. I will be lapping Renegade. Yes. You know, and I, I, we'll, see, we'll see how the rest of it goes. It'd be interesting to get on the Morgan Hyper as well. Yeah, wild thing. Wild thing. And, you know, we'll just see what this park has to offer. It looks all right, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely I'm looking forward to, a, to a, a good start to what should be a great two weeks. Agreed one of many parks to come yes. on Pleasure Beach Experience and of course for us as well. Agreed. Also from me, just want to mention that there is an Arrow corkscrew here and an Arrow mine train kind of ride so looking forward to getting on both of those. Oh and there's an Arrow wild mouse as well so it's a plus three on the Arrow dynamics count today which means that Arrow finally goes back above Pinfari on my coaster count. Happy days. Right enough talking from us, let's get in there and let's get those coasters done. Good news, we've found Renegade and it's going to be our first roller coaster at Valley Fair, assuming it does open on time. But it is testing on two trains. There is not a lot of off ride footage that you can get of this ride. It's pretty much just this area here, here that you can get. Went a little bit Yorkshire there, we'll be saying here rather than here. Um, yeah, very, very much looking forward to getting on this. So is Mark, he's just been dancing off camera. Can't wait, mate, can't wait. Which has always carried some good speed into this bit. So yeah. Hopefully it's exactly the same throughout the whole of the ride. I literally cannot wait to get, get me on it front row, back row. So Mark, Jimmy and Andy are going for lap number three while I get some very limited off-ride footage opportunities from the exit walkway of this ride. Wow though, quick review after two goes. One of the best woodies in the world, no doubt about it. We've just taken, well you've taken four rides in Renegade, I've taken three. 
for. How was it for you? Oh, that is everything I wanted it to be. Fun more. It's so, so fun. Fast. It's intense. It's got great pops of air time. What an incredible ride that is. I am so happy that it's lived up to what I wanted it to be. It is incredible, honestly. If that's the only coaster we get on here, I'm going home a happy man. I was going to say, even if we don't do anything else now, yeah. I've done what I wanted to do. Yeah, I've done it. I'm happy now. It's like, I'll. It's just, honestly, I'm. I'm, I'm we had that first go on the front row. You're thinking, is he going to need a bit of time to warm up? Not on that thing. Straight away, her time, her time. Brilliant. Super. What about the back row? Back row's incredible. It's a totally different experience for me anyway. Yeah. It's like, it, when it fling, flings you over on that. Classic. You go the first, you go down that first drop and yeah. you're just like, what is going on here? Yeah, you slam from side to side. It's, it is incredible. It really, really is. Such a good ride. So we're not comparing rides on this trip, nope. but in terms of GC, GCIs, it runs typically like a GCI. It's got that feel of a woody without being rough. Yeah, it's got a little bit of vibration, but it's not a rough vibration, if that kind of makes sense. Yeah. It, it literally goes across the track. It's not uncomfortable. It's just, it is, it's just, it's brilliant. And you know what? No pushing down on the lap bars. Check to see if it's locked in place. On you go. Five. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Five operators. Thumbs up. Off you go. See you later. Enjoy it. Yeehaw. Yeah, and they do actually say yeehaw. Should yeah. come out the station. Yeah, enjoy your ride on the Renegade. Yeehaw. <laughs> Jimmy. Hello. Hello. Right, speak up. Speak yeah. up. Don't worry. The ca the lens is not right in your face. I know you probably think it is, but. I I can pro promise you it's not like nose cam. How was it? it was really intense, smooth, got thrown about everywhere. Uh, plenty of air time. Love the yeehaw. Yeehaw, so excellent. Really I'm not hiding behind the camera on this trip, so I'm gonna give my opinion on Renegade as well. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, Renegade, amazing Woody. Air time, first drops incredible. Operations are incredible, yeehaw. And uh, yeah, if that's the standard at this park, I'm looking forward to the other rides. And um, I know we mentioned him in the intro, Mike, he is definitely here. Rumour has it, he's gone to the water park uh, because he's warm and he, well, he's, he's flipped off a, a ring already like at Cyan Park. That's what I'm hearing anyway. So just a little rumour, we'll have to ask him when we see him. Don't know how true it is, but you heard that too. Yeah, mate. I don't know. He's uh, going round on another rubber ring. Yeah, you know I mean? backwards. Backwards and then falling in again. Yeah. Such a shame, but classic, a classic clip. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little question before you talk about Renegade. Yeah. So, uh, is it true Mike's gone in the water? Um, I'm not sure where he's gone, actually. He, we, he left us to go on that. He's sort of disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. We heard he might have fell off a rubber ring like at Cyan Park <laughs> again. No, uh, we'll have to find him. Oh, how, there he is. Anyway, how <laughs> comes? How was Renegade, <laughs> that guys? Was, that was yeah. Uh, between that and Wildfire, uh, number one winner at the moment. Excellent. And uh, just just so people know, this is Ashley <laughs> and Christina. Gareth, what did you think of Renegade? Loved it. Loved, Loved it. it. Yeah, 400 cred. Good choice, I reckon. Cred's yeah. a cred. I'll be lapping that this afternoon, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Enjoy it, Christina. Yeah, I was just saying, I just I kept going, didn't stop. Excellent. And you liked yeah, it, didn't that you? Was fantastic. That first drop, I kind of forgot that it went two directions. So yeah, same. So when we did front row, I obviously didn't forget about that drop. But when we did back row, I just expected yeah. it to go straight down and not twist. I was yeah. like, hold on a minute. Yeah, no, that, was, that was brilliant. I think I'll be laughing at this afternoon. Absolutely. Oh, a nice t shirt, by the way. <laughs> Here he is. Hello. So there's been some rumours going round that you've already been in the water park and fell off a rubber ring, is it true? No. All oh, right, I just wanted to check, you see. It's a weird little rumour that... that see, he well, is here. He is this. actually here. Well, I've not been set up for that one this time. Not been set up for it. No. What, are you trying to suggest we set you up last time? Yes. yes. <laughs> that laugh suggests there might be some truth in the yeah. accusation. <laughs> Well, I, I blame it all on Chris and Gemma. It seems as they're not currently here a lot. They're not here. Chris and Gemma, when you watch, it was clearly your fault, not mine. What have you done so far? Uh, I've done wild thing. You like it? Not bad. Not bad. First half, really good. Yep. Get rid of that trim brake on the Get rid of the trim brake. 
Well, uh, we'll reserve judgment on it myself until later on, but are you going to have a go on Renegade? It's got uh, very, very lengthy seat belts. It has? Yes. Oh. It has seat belts, but they are lengthy. Right. One click. So Mark was getting one click, so yeah. might be worth a try, mate. I mean, there's no queue yeah. for fast lane or the normal queue, so it might yeah. be worth a go. Uh, I trust we'll catch up with you later on then. More than likely, yeah. Excellent. Well, we do need to arrange. There is a water ride here. Oh, is there? Yeah, the tidal wave style. Right, well, I'll watch. Oh, and I have seen people coming off it. Oh, right, good. Head to full. Will you be doing it? Have you seen how hot it is here? I can feel how hot it is, yeah. It's 28-ish degrees at this moment in time. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Right, well, we'll catch up with you in a bit then. And uh, enjoy Renegade if you can. Next up is Mad Mouse, which is an aerodynamics wild mouse roller coaster. One of these roller coasters are hard to find, so this has been the first one that I've been on. There wasn't many built, I think it was eight in all. I'd have to check that for definite. Now you might be looking at this thinking, well, where's the cars on it? So they run it with one car going around at a time, even though there's seven cars on it. In the distance there is the Mad Mouse and in front of it is High Roller, which we're doing next. But firstly, Mad Mouse, aerodynamics. Bin. Bin. Honestly, remove it. Dreadful. Not only is it bad, it, I thought the Bolivian was bad for stacking on the ride. Well, that takes the biscuit. I don't understand why you can't get off, off the train <laughs> when you're side of the platform. Let yeah. But Seven carriages. Yeah, one going round at once. And the other six waiting to get off. <laughs> yes. It's ridiculous. Terrible operation. I don't understand why they're operating it like that, but honestly, if you're coming here and you've not got a fast lane, go to it first. Yes. Done, otherwise, you just be stuck there for ages. Agreed. Less said about it, though, the better. It worked great. No, it's not a good ride. I'm not even going to flip the camera and do a review no. myself. It's just not very good no, at not. the end of the day. So, we've got High Roller next, which yeah. looks like a traditional wooden coaster. Has a look of similar to the Pleasure Beach Woodies. Yeah, it so. be good. It looks, it looks as though it's got some good airtime moments, whether that carries through onto the ride, we'll see. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it again. Two trains as well, yeah. which is always good. I mean, the queue's not exactly massive, nope. but it's on two trains. I mean, we're, we've got fast lane. We probably would have done without it, but you just can't take the risk when you're flying all that distance and then driving seven hours to get here. Yeah, exactly. So you might as well. It is just a one level of it, so you get on everything, so. You might as well get it done, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely right. High roller, let's do it. Let's go. Welcome back, Ryder. How was your ride on the high roller? I enjoyed it. Good, classic wood, a couple pops of her time. Just a really fun coaster. Uh, honestly, uh, you wonder sometimes whether he's, he's going to have a bit of her time or it's not, but that did. And you know what, 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 what can you say about it? It's a good classic coaster. Yeah, uh, something that's worth noting, I think, for anyone going on, the seat belts on this are tight, especially on the airtime moments. Yeah, they, they are the, the retractable ones that. Then, obviously, uh, don't give a little bit, but you know what? It didn't affect it overall, to be honest with you. Do you know what it reminded me of? And I know we're not comparing rides, but it reminded me of Nickelodeon Street, but a little bit slower. Yeah, agreed. I'd, I'd agree with that. Good, good uh, time. You know, it's a good family coaster, really. What it's yeah. designed for, and what more could you want from it? Yeah, it's in the Camp Snoop. Is it Camp Snoopy area of the Camp, park? Camp Snoopy area, which is obviously the family area. Yeah. And you know, it fits in very well in the area, so it's good. Excellent, right, corkscrew. Corkscrew. Let's go, Arrow Classic. 
great. taken our ride on the Arrow Corkscrew and yeah there was some proper roller coaster heritage going on there the uh, the trains on it were proper old school but again plenty of room in them with the uh, the restraint they weren't tight lap bars were really long it uh, lap bars seat belts were really long and the overhead restraints were quite roomy as far as it goes I mean some of those rides from back in the 70s and 80s were, that were like that some of them were headbangers but that one was all right right up until the helix at the end. The inversions were fine, the first corner after the vertical loop was fine, the corkscrews were fine, and then I sort of relaxed and thought, yeah, it's not gonna be rough from here, and then bang, helix came and I banged my head off the restraint twice, so yeah. Otherwise, I actually enjoyed it. It wasn't a bad ride at all. And um, I'm not sure I'll do it again, but yeah, it's good. Glad I've got on it, and uh, now Arrow are above Pinfari on my coast account, so. Yes, finally. How was your ride on corkscrew? It lulled me in a false sense of security until uh, <laughs> it was going all right. I quite enjoyed it. I relaxed into the ride, and then after the uh, corkscrew, well, I felt like Tyson Fury had smashed me in the jaw twice. <laughs> they just ruined it at that point. But other than that, if, you know, it's a classic. You've got to respect these things. It wasn't for them. Wouldn't have what we have today. Exactly. Uh, so you've just got to appreciate it, like I say, just, if it ended after the corkscrew though, I'd be like, yes, good ride that, let's go again. Yeah, because to be honest, when we went through the corkscrews, I was sort of chuckling to myself thinking, we're going to be giving it smooth after we'd been on it, yeah. and then all of a sudden my head's getting jarred off the restraint, I'm like, okay, maybe it's not smooth after all. It certainly wasn't smooth. No. <laughs> It just went from side to side, and because you, you hadn't experienced it... Like Ariana Grande. Yeah. <laughs> because you hadn't experienced it throughout the entire layout, you wasn't expecting it, you could brace a little bit. No, you honestly smashed side to side, both jaws. It would have been a, it, it would have been a knockout, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the knockout blow on the corkscrew. Yeah, it would have been. round. Yeah, it would have been. I wouldn't have been getting up, turning ten, ten out. <laughs> but the loops were all right. And yeah, the, 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 for what it is, up until that point, and it was enjoyable. It really was. And that just kind of ruined it a little bit. But other than that, honestly, up until that point, I'll give it its due. It was, it was a good ride. Right, let's have a little refresh then. Eight coasters. We've yeah. done Renegade. We've done... Um, Mad Mouse. Mad Mouse and then High uh, roller. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we've done corkscrew. We've done corkscrew. So four out of eight, we've yeah. got wild thing to do. Wild and um, steel venom. Yeah, so I would imagine we'll do those soon. However, next I believe Mike is gonna show up and do the water ride. Yeah. So that'll be entertaining. Yeah. Are you going on? No. No, me neither. It, three hour drive to Mount Olympus and as I'm driving, I don't want to be at soggy feet for the whole journey. No, it'll, play, it'll make the car stink a bit and our VIP in the back seat won't be too happy, will he, Jimmy? No, he won't. He won't be <laughs> tinted windows just him on the, on the back seat of a minivan. Is, uh, you know, it gets a button to press and door opens. We don't get that luxury in the front and we're the drivers. I know. He's, li he's living the dream. Something else uh, that I'd like to add about this park up to now is that the layout is quite confusing. Now I watched um, a couple of reviews and vlogs from this park before we came out here and everyone else said that the, the, uh, the layout of the park can get quite confusing and we've definitely found that at times today. We've been like, where on earth is the ride entrance? Like, you'll be stood next to a ride like Corkscrew and then you'll have to do like a complete lap of the park to find the entrance, which is quite annoying, but it's uh, not quite as annoying as Energylandia in terms of getting lost but if you if you do come to this part then 
even if you do get a map it, it might not help you so just something worth knowing that you may get frustrated with the layout of this park if you do come in here he is are you uh, deliberately faffing because there's not as many people with us at faff as normal no, are you I've standing got all are you <laughs> I mean, everyone says that this guy is the Faf King, but I think in a minute you might be the champion so far. What, what do we think? I'm certain of it, mate. <laughs> certain of it. Jimmy's been early to everything so far. I know, I'm yeah. Late to everything. Late to all of America. Late here today. Late to this. But we're starting to worry. We'd send a search party out. We spoke to security and said there's a man in a red icon hat. Is he in the water park again, falling off rubber rings? <laughs> <laughs> How's your David so far? Really good, yeah. yeah. Enjoying it. Did you get on Renegade I in did. the end? Yes, Just excellent. It, it Just. Mad Mouse as well. Got on it. You got on it. I'm not going to ask you how it is. We've already yeah. sort of slandered it enough, I think. Yeah. So, uh, well, the, the words Arrow and Mad Mouse shouldn't, shouldn't no. go together. Arrow profiling on a Mad Mouse is However, interesting. There is, a, there is a fine example of Arrow profiling. It's brilliant. Corkscrew. Excalibur. Oh, we've not done that yet. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, we're going to... It's really good. Later on, we're going to head up to Renegade for last ride. We'll, well do Excalibur I'll then. I have a suggestion. Go on then. Because we're going to do this now yep. as a group. The Rapids are next to Excalibur. It's a bit of a trek back up that way though, yeah, isn't it? Is, but it would be a good group ride. Uh, we've maybe, done the Rapids we've not done, it's quite good fun. Yeah, we've not done Wild Thing yet though. Yes. So we might do it later. Anyway, you're going on? Yeah. Excellent. I'm really hoping I'm not going to get wet standing here filming this water ride. Jimmy's braving the splash zone. Not much of a splash zone that. Well, there's been a lot of faffing, but they're finally on this water ride and Mike's at the front. There we go. Oh, that was close. Are you wet, mate? All the mildly moist. Mildly moist. Mildly moist. Was it worth it, though? It cooled down now. Good. Excellent, so it's worth it then. It'll last about 10 seconds. I was going to say, you'll be roasting again in yeah. a minute and uh, dry as a bone. So you're going to go and do the rapids now? We've done it already. Oh, fair enough. Our plan is now Subway for dinner. So I'll, I guess we'll catch you after that. Well, yeah, likely. He's going to stand there like a windsock. Yeah. <laughs> to the <laughs> excellent. Where's the... Still got to drive it. Back on. Yeah, too many dry spots. You're going to have to go again. Jimmy's looking a bit moist. Does this look dry to you? What the water ride? No, I don't. I don't not to be honest. So next up, it's going to be the power tower, and we've got a full team for this one. Almost. Anyone nervous? Hello. Nervous? No. Nope. Nervous? No. 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 All good. No, good mate. All good. Never nervous on drop towers, you? No, never. Not at all, mate. No, you'll be all fine. No, nah, be right, mate, honestly. I'm over it. I'm over it now. I'm over these. Let's see how he gets on up there. So we've just done the power tower, and I think everyone was really scared of it because they've all left me on my own to do this review. So we've obviously all gone for a beverage because it must have scared them a little bit, but. Yeah, it's good. Uh, a lot of air time. Great views of the Arrow Corkscrew. Roller coaster heritage from the top. So yeah, fantastic. Really enjoyed that. Next up is going to be Steel Venom.
How was the uh, the ride on Steel Venom? I really enjoyed them. I, I love Wicked Twister. Obviously, facing the same model. Apart from the uh, old break, which took me by surprise a little bit. Didn't think it had all just lied out, but you know what? Fabulous, fabulous ride. I just love the, the launch on them, things are incredible. I just like how there's one of the. Uh, obviously, give you 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it's literally yeah. on the one here. Curling down the uh, launch track. It's just a fantastic coaster. Going on the Larson Loop? Nah, I'll give it a bit of time. Not a dread, so give you a cred, I'll be on, but not a cred for me. Cred or no cred, I'll put that out there. For me, it's no cred. I'm only saying that so I don't have to go on it. I don't want it to go unmentioned in this video that Valley Fair is actually a stunning theme park. There's so many little areas like this that are landscaped or green or just have little water features or waterfalls or water running through the area and it's just an absolutely gorgeous theme park. There's lots of colour, lots of greenery, lots of little fountains and features. It's just a very, very nice theme park. Very easy on the eye when you're walking around it. Next up is going to be what is probably this park's centrepiece roller coaster, signature roller coaster. And it's not the lamppost, it is, of course, the green ride that's behind it, which is called Wild Thing. It was built for 1996 by DH Morgan Manufacturing, part of the Arrow family. Yeah. What are you expecting from this, mate? Yeah, what to expect? Like, this Phantom is a good moment, obviously, they redid the Arrow. So if they've done something similar and made this, then it should be a good ride. But look at them, it's an unusual layout. But it has got Magnum Triangle Hill, so hopefully it might get some good air time on it. I think it'll be air time, but I think it'll be more gentle than an Arrow Hyper yeah. air time. And I just think it'll be somewhere in the middle of an Arrow and a B&M Hyper. Well, I hope so. It'll still be a good ride then. I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's... It looks good from when we were coming in the park early this morning, obviously the other right hand side of this is where the freeway is and it looks good. It looks good along the skyline. It's, you know, you can see why it's built where it is and the way it is. Yeah, absolutely. And just moving up to it again, it's uh, support structure looks very familiar to a certain hyper coaster in Blackpool. Um, right, one subject we have to cover again. Layout of this park is so confusing or is it just me? It's, it, like, if you've ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon or, or Planet, Planet Coaster and it's your first time doing it, you just plunk rides down and then you build a pathway around it and there's no like circular, there's no like here's here, it's like it's all over the shop. It is difficult to navigate to where each entrance is. It's like you see the, you see this ride and then you walk 10 minutes to find the entrance and you think well look, the entrance queue line is nowhere near where you can see the ride in the park, it's strange. It is, it is very, very strange. It's like normally, most parks tend to be circular. Yeah. You know, the offshoot here and there, but most parks will be circular. And you know what, this is probably circular, but it doesn't feel like it. It no. reminds me of like Energy Landia when we got lost on that first day. Yeah. Where you go in and it's like, I need to get over there, but I'm going left and right and straight on and trying to find where you're going. And that's how this park is. There's a, a layout for it that was... There's no signage. No. That doesn't help. No, there's not. You, obviously, you've got the app and everyone has mobile phones these days that so they use data in, in the US as well, but you, there isn't, like, normally you'd be, like, Gloomy Woods over there, Vermilion yeah. Valley's over there, Exeter's over there. There's signage to tell you where it is, but here there's not. There's literally, like, fend for yourself, guys. It, it'd be different. It, like, obviously, we wouldn't need signposts at a pleasure beach. No because we know where everything is. But not everybody's been to Pleasure Beach. No. Hundreds of times like us, and when it's your first visit, you just to see them in the any direction, and there isn't that unfortunately. No, to be fair, a season pass holder from Valley Fair might not be able to find a way to big one. Because yeah. you might think, well, I can see it, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, see these, these 
big hills, but where's the, where's the section? Where's the, where do I get into it? Same with Icon, really. Yeah, exactly. You see the station, you walk past it, you're like, how do I get around there? Yeah, exactly. You know so. It's not a I just wish that there was more signage. There is signage at Pleasure Beach. Yeah. It's as big dippers this way, icons this way. It's like that towers, it's, you know where you're going. Yeah. So. And here there's, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing. No, it's a strange one. And uh, for reference, we had dinner at Subway. It was all right, just cold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was expecting. Foot long steak and cheese, thanks. My, my staple at, at Subway. No hearty Italian bread, no steak and cheese, and I was like, Oh well, I'll make do with this cold sandwich then. And no Wigan kebabs. No, no pies unfortunately. <laughs> no pancakes either. <laughs> right, anyway, should we go and do wild thing? Wild thing. Wild thing, let's go. Thing. Was it wild? It would have been wild if that mid course hadn't been in it. But it kind of killed the speed of it, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, you float down the first drop, float down the first dirt time hill, then it turns into a bit of a monorail, really. Because it's a fast monorail. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't do anything around that turnaround. It's just like bank corner, straight track, bank corner. And I know it. But there's no like change in elevation as such or, or what makes a massive difference to it and then you go into the mid course takes all the speed out of it and then you go up and down some hills without any air time on it really is it too smooth it's hard to say really if that mid course wasn't in it it'd be magnum on, on that way. on that return leg, if it didn't have that mid course there, it'd be it'd be epic. Yeah, it would, it would be magnum. You'd be slamming into that proper ejector on it, and instead it just kills it. It really does kill the ride at that point. I could have, if the mid course hadn't been in, I could have stomached the the monorail section. Yeah, it's, it's there to give me some ejector in to get me into that position. Oh, nah. Not for me. It's all right. I mean, it's not it's not poor coaster, but it's. Average. average, average at best. Yeah. So we've done six of eight coasters, we've got two left, do those a little bit later on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll pick back up when we get to the next coaster. quick comment before we go to the roller coaster in the distance we've mentioned a couple of times about the layout in this park being confusing well the coaster in shot in the distance well you actually have to go under a road to get to it next up is going to be Excalibur then the coaster in the distance we found it some say that this is as good as Magnum XL 200 at Cedar Point let's go and see The good thing about Excalibur is it has one pop of air time and the first drop's quite good. The bad thing about Excalibur is it's not very good 
there's nowhere to film it from and it is not Magnum XL 200. Do you like it? That her time mill was all right. The rest of it though, doesn't do anything, does it? Doesn't. It doesn't literally doesn't just meanders around the, the woods a bit. Dreadful. It must be. That's why it must be out the back here and hoping that nobody comes to it. I think. <laughs> so no, so no one knows it's here. Because like, it's, no, not even worth the walk. Just stop at Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we're going again, isn't, yeah. isn't it? In a minute. Yeah. Just just come to the park. Stop at Renegade. Don't bother coming any further. Cred's a cred though. It is. So I've heard it compared to the Ultimate and Magnum. I think the Ultimate's more more uh, fitting. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. From the first lift hill to the second lift hill, that's what it's like. Yeah, right. Renegade and then wrapping up the day. Yes. Let's go. Oh, and uh, one last thing. There's a road there and uh, more water park. There's actually a lot of a water park in this park, isn't there, Mark? There's actually like a full-scale water park here and I think it's included in the price. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I couldn't tell you on that. <laughs> I don't honestly don't know whether it is or it isn't. Some parks are, some parks are. You know what? Fair play. Get some. You know, if you don't want to do the theme park, you know what? Have a day at the water park. Swap. Exactly. If you're in the area, happy day, isn't it? Yeah. So staying with the underpass by Excalibur for the time being is also a river rapids ride, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty wild. It has seat belts apparently. And here it is. Sorry for the wobbly filming. I will try and stabilise this. Yeah, it's well presented. We've asked Jimmy to go on it. I don't know if he's going to, but if he does, we'll get some footage of him on it. Wow, that was some wave. Yes! <laughs> Got lucky with that one. Yeah. Any regrets for not going on? Absolutely none. I have made the ride as a decision. I would have got every one of them. Jimmy yes. struck lucky with getting the major one, but I would have got all three, I think. Any regrets, Andy? Definitely not. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> and bright. <laughs> Turn me back for one minute and the man in a yellow shirt appears. Come on then, come and give us some ride reviews. It's like start with Excalibur seems as you're such a fan of it. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I really liked it. Really? Yeah. You don't think it's like Magnum, surely? No. Good. I thought you said it was. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I have read online someone said, oh, you'll think it's like Magnum. No. There is one bit of it, it's, the airtime, and that, that's it's, it. Uh, it's, a, it's an arrow. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's got arrows profiling. Oh, absolutely. Arrows slab front trains. <laughs> In case we don't catch it at the end of the day, what is your favourite ride here? Um, I think probably Excalibur. Excalibur? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. What about second and third? What do you think of Renegade? I did really enjoy it. Yeah. It's a little bit uncomfortable on me. Yeah. Because of the the lap bar. Yeah. But it was very, very good. Yeah. It's it best is. GCI, best GCI icon. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Um, really enjoyed High Roller. Yeah, it's Again, good that. The only problem with that was the lap bar. Well, we found that the seat belts on that were digging in on us on the airtime, so I had to sort of adjust it so that it wasn't so bad. Well, I had every every hill in the lap bar yeah. dropped another. Oh, Grand National esque. Oh yeah. So by the time I got back, I'm like, God, move. Pitch. Yeah. Well, it was actually a really good ride. Wild thing. Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, get rid of that brake. Yes. Turn that brake down, and you've got a really good ride on your hands. Pleasure Beach experience on YouTube. <laughs> oh, we're on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Pleasure Beach experience. <laughs> It'll be on in about a week though. <laughs> yeah, um, Wild Thing, get rid of that brake. Yeah. And it's a really good coaster. Yeah, it's agreed. Just that brake lets it down. Um, Should we go that way a little bit? Getting in everyone's way, I think. Good dancing, did, uh, that. The Irish dancing <laughs> there. I got a. a um, but, do you know what? I actually thought the front had more airtime than the back. Have you done it more than once? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've only yeah, done I've it done once. Three or four times. Oh, nice one. Because we did it early doors this morning. Yeah. So I think we might have gone round early doors this morning. Yeah. And then, and then done the same thing this evening. Yeah. 
So we've had we have had a couple of goes each on it. Uh, we had a couple couple of goes on this. this yeah. Um, those rapids are interesting. Yeah, Jimmy's on them at the minute. He's a little bit. So oh, he is. I think he's on his way now. He got yeah. very, very soaked. Yeah, there's a waterfall. Yeah, he got him. Doesn't turn off. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, here, got he, here he comes now. Here comes Stop. Jimmy. Here's our esteemed colleague. Very soggy. Look at him. He's not impressed, is he? <laughs> Thanks, mate. We got some good footage. Appre appreciate your help with that. In the interest of research for PBE, you've done a great job there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Finally, because we might not catch much of you once you get going, what would you say about this park overall? Uh, it's a really nice park. Yes. Um, you know, it's not like an utterly standout, like real smashing, smash it coaster. Yeah. But it's a good little park. Um, it's three or four good little coasters. Corkscrew's a bit. <laughs> might might need it. It's all good until that corner. Oh yeah, the corner at the end's just oh, it's arrow. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, just arrow, isn't it? Yeah, it got yeah, us I mean, good and proper. We're doing a, a, a new jaw. Yeah. Um, no, I really enjoyed the place. Um, uh, tip if you come in is buy your tickets plenty in advance. Yeah. Because I've a funny feeling I only paid about thirty-five dollars for my ticket. Yeah, I'm not, well, I think parking's just as much. Yeah. It's $20, yeah, it's $20 at parking. least. I think I paid about $35 for my ticket. About $50 or $60 for my fast lane. $40 or so for me drinking drink and food. But you do need your drink. Yeah. You do need one. And, well, you can either have this or just get it in cups as you go. But For anyone that's been to Florida, I would just say it's Animal Kingdom style heat today. Yeah, it is really hot. Well, that was a long day, but I think an excellent one. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time here today. It's just a great park, to be honest with you. Got some good coasts. It's got a good atmosphere as well. Yeah, it has. Well, it's not been overly busy, but you know what? It's, it's, it's not here to be. It's good atmosphere. Ride ups are incredible, especially on Renegade. Yes. You know what I mean? You can see how hard they work and how much they want everybody to enjoy that coaster. It's, it's just good to see. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. There's probably no point asking you highlight of the day, is there? Yeehaw. Yeehaw, Renegade. Yeehaw, Renegade is phenomenal, folks. I'm so, so glad that I managed to get on that. I, I really am, you know. And, you know what? It's been worth the trip up here alone. Yeah. It has been worth it. You don't need two days. Just come for, for one day here and one day at um, Mall of America. Yeah. You know, make it a two day. You can't, you can't just come all this way and just have one day. It's a bit tough. We said at the time when we were going to do it, we're like, we've always wanted to do Renegade. Yeah. And I think it's been worth it. It's been worth it. Like I say, you only need like half a day at Mall of America. You can yeah. go have a look around the shops, you have to enjoy the, the atmosphere there. Um, you know, and you could, you, that's what you don't want to come all this way and then head basically all the way back towards Chicago. No, you, you want to do well, something. Yeah, you might as well come here, head up in the morning, hit Mall of America in the afternoon, come here the next day and then head to that look to head back. Ride order, best to worst. Can I just go the top three? <laughs> Come on. Best coaster, Renegade. Yeah. Steel Venom. Third. Um, Cosmic Coaster. <laughs> high, cool. ro high Roller. Yeah. Third. Fourth, Cosmic Coaster. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> it says that he licked on Cosmic Coaster, I'm telling you. Um, fifth, uh, probably Wild Thing. Oh, actually, no, Excalibur for the uh, the ejector air time on that one hill. Wait a minute. So Wild Thing is not even the top five. No. <laughs> it's just like he doesn't do anything. No, he doesn't. That's the trouble. Like you make it's big. It's got. You know, it takes up a lot of room. We expect like it to, to do something. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, all right, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You never know what you can find in the hedges. Yeah. Uh, I say it, it just doesn't do anything. Um, that, that's probably about it. Corkscrew left out. It's been punished for one jarring mo movement. One? If it had been one, it might have been high up the, 
But it's the fact that I got bashed both sides by Tyson Fury that ruined it for me. Yeah, but he's retired. He came out of retirement on that bit, though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll nickname that bit the Tyson Fury corner. Yeah. So just pick it up from uh, from Mark. Yeah. Excellent park. It's one of those that I think in the reviews I've seen where people say you need to do it once and then you probably wouldn't come again until they get something new and I agree with that because it's a it's a long old way from Chicago obviously there's airports nearer to it but I think it's a really solid park really solid park and I think that like Renegade is by far the best ride here and everything else is two or three levels below it wild thing I didn't expect it to be any good I've got to be honest low expectations anyway and it well it was worse than I expected corkscrew fantastic Mark shaking his head off camera. It's roller coaster heritage. It's good. It had one little head bang. The Smiler has lots of head banging and everybody loves it. So why can't Arrow, which are what, 30, 40 year old coasters, have a bit of head movement? They were designing things by hand back then. So you know what I mean? The, these rides were, were done by hand. They're not now. They've got all the amazing computer aided design. They didn't have that in the 70s and 80s. They pretty much got a bit of paper and drew it out and went, yeah, we'll build it like that. So you've got to take your hat off to them. They did a great job. Um, right, I asked Mark, so I'll do the same. Renegade number one, corkscrew number two, <laughs> steel venom number three. I probably would have put it higher if I wasn't dehydrated when we went on it. I liked it, but it was just a bit too intense for me. Um, High roller, fourth, fifth, I'm struggling, Excalibur, sixth, wild thing. I feel like I've missed something really obvious. Cosmic Coaster. Number seven, Cosmic Coaster. What's number eight then? There's eight coasters. We've missed one. There's definitely eight coasters here. Mad Mouse, that is eight. Mad Mouse, there we go. It's that bad, I forgot about it. Terrible. Yeah, Arrow Wild Mouse just doesn't go, does it? But um, all in all, great staff here, very friendly, very efficient entrance. Security do it a really good way. Rather than making you empty your bag straight away, you walk through with your bag through the scanner, and if you beat, they then check your bag. If you don't beat, you just go through. And then what they do is they check your bag, make you walk through again, and if you don't beat, they just say, What have you got in your bag? I've got a camera. Let's see it. Show them. Right, fair enough. On you go. So that was fair enough. Nice and quick, nice and efficient. Glad we got fast lane. Also, you got the shock tower, got the water rides, the rapids, which is a water ride. You can tell I'm tired. Um, yeah, good value for money. Good value for fast pass money. Great day. Totally recommend coming to this park if you have ever looked at it and thought I should go there. Many thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.